Hi gorgeous! I hope your day is off to a fabulous start. If you're new to the channel, first I'd like to say welcome to you. My name is Zabrina and I make videos testing out concealers and foundations just like this one all the time. So please subscribe to be notified of new videos in the future. Today we're testing out two stick foundations that are relatively new in stores right now. First one is from Hourglass and the second is from Anastasia. So I'll be showing you what these look like in an application demonstration side by side so you can see the results that you get with them. I'll wear them throughout the day and then come back at the end of the video to do a check-in with you and show you how they wore. Then I'll give you my full review. Are either of these worth getting or not? So both of these stick foundations look pretty similar to one another. I'll just show you what they look like in the package. First one here is the Hourglass one. This is in the shade Blanc. And the Anastasia one here. This is in the shade Warm Porcelain. So I used the Hourglass one on this side of my face. It's been a while since I've used stick foundations. I have one from NYX that I've yet to try. Floating around here somewhere. I need to do a review on that one. It looks really white. Oh, let's hope it blends in. I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender here to blend this in. Oh, I don't know. Pale girl problems, am I right? Well, there is such a thing as getting too light of a shade. Oh, and I have to wear this throughout the day today and I have a lot of errands to run. Oh, please blend in, please blend in. On the other hand, it's really good to see that they do make a shade this light because you know the struggle, especially for some of you who've said that you're more fair than me. I can't imagine how hard it is for you to find a foundation that blends in and matches because they're really hard to find even in my shade. Well, I'm not gonna apply two layers because one layer is <laughs> white enough. And do I dare, I'm gonna apply the Anastasia one on this side, which looks more like a color match. Watch, I'm gonna walk around all day today. One half of my face, white. <laughs> and the other side of my face, normal. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and this is blending in nicely too. The hourglass side blended in really well. I like it so far. And this is definitely much more of a color match <laughs> than the hourglass side was. Well, both formulas blended in really well. I wouldn't say they blend in as quickly as a liquid foundation, as an example. It takes a little bit more effort to blend them into the skin. The hourglass side is more or less sitting on top of my skin, I feel like, or that could be because it's not a true color match, but I can still see the areas where I applied it, even though I tried to blend it in really well. Whereas on the Anastasia side, it looks like skin. Before I get on with my day here, I wanna let you know I applied the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes to go along with this, and I'm also gonna be setting the face with the La Mer Translucent Powder. It's gonna be a really interesting test today. I'm excited to see how each of these sides hold up. My prediction is that I feel like the Anastasia side is gonna wear a little better than the hourglass, but we will see. Eight hours later and this is where we're at. <sighs> okay, I am not impressed with either one. <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm just not. You can tell why at this point. On the Anastasia side, now this one is made for oily skin, so I'm really disappointed to see this and how shiny it is. Look at me, greasy. And the hourglass side is not any better. It's not as shiny as the Anastasia side is, but like I said when I had applied it, it's sitting on top of the skin. If I come in a little closer here, I'm hoping it comes across on camera. It just never really blended in. So it just is, Ugh. I'm sorry. Honestly, I can't recommend either one of these stick foundations to you. I don't care for either one of them. This is the first time that's ever happened. If you've tried either of these foundations out and you had a different experience, please feel free to share yours below and let me know what you think based on the end of day eight hour results here. I hope you found this helpful today and that it has helped save you some money quite possibly if you were considering either one of these stick foundations. 
Ah, I don't recommend either one, sadly. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. I gotta go wash my face now because it is gross.